Thank you. A couple of fun facts. Both movie star Chick who dated one of the Chris's from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A UFC MMA champ makes a guest appearance. And in a scene where this one dude is on his meds, the movie pays homage to a popular 30 plus year old TV show. So in the beginning, the film starts off in this desert and this sports car is just begging for a traffic citation. When it doesn't get one, you're like, that would never happen in real life. But please, don't do that. Actually, you gotta expel your disbelief for the entire runtime or whatever, or you're just gonna be pissed until the credits roll. Look at it like a superhero origin story and the characters got superpowers and stuff. Exhibit A, muscular dude jumps out of a window and lands on gravity and lives to see another day. Just go with it, bro. Because even the dead people don't die in this movie. To get the romantic comedy parts out of the way, the main dude is pouring his heart and soul out to his girl and she tells him how she barely remembers. Don't worry, big guy. Same exact thing happens to Bill Cosby like all the time. On the outside, the main characters look soft, but they show glimpses of thug life every now and then. Side note, laugh if you want to, but no matter what you drive, your last vehicle will always be a van. So the muscular black dude character is getting his arm worked on. They get a your mission if you choose to accept it speech from this old guy who shares a glass of liquor over the details and then the team starts taking part in various international action scenes. On the Middle East mission, they crash a party and one of the pretty boys starts flirting with some chick. So you see their appreciation for the opposite sex. On the America mission, they put these sharp metal thingies in the back of a bus, rip out the rear, and the prisoner with the boy meets well fro hairstyle jumps out the back. So you see their appreciation for physics and their appreciation for gravity is on full display when they're on this plane and then skydive a vehicle out of it. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. For like 40% of the scene, the black dude is yelling and telling his teammates why this is a bad idea, but nobody wants to listen to him. They still survive because because, and the good news is that with all the ruckus they were making, they didn't disturb the peace for innocent bystanders because everybody in this movie has soundproof windows. After they grab their hostage, they meet up by the lake to enjoy the scenery and get a new plan together. I don't always make phone calls to people I'm trying to assassinate, but when I do, I yell spoiler alert so nobody gets hurt. There's a rivalry scene in the parking lot where both the rival characters duke it out in the bag guy gets hit by a car. Then the bad guys are after the hostage, but they can't really get their hands on him or her because the good guys keep playing vehicular keep away. Me personally, I don't own a black SUV, but if I did, I'd probably just use a rental if I were driving up to a gunfight, but it's cool since the good guys gotta buy one, get one free deal. After a while, the bad guys are like, screw this and start firing rockets. But then one of the good guys is like, no, 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 don't screw anything. It makes an evil Knievel stunt jump to cancel out the rockets. At the end, the bad guy's arrested by the CIA and he's talking junk the whole time because they didn't read him as Miranda right so he doesn't have the right to remain silent. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so. If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. Time out. Hey guys, two things. Number one first, just a real big thank you for the support you guys have shown me over the last couple of months. The comments, messages, jokes, ETC period. I appreciate it like this much. You can't see my hands, but that's a lot. I can't really pay you guys back no matter how hard I try. So sorry there's not enough room on the wall in the intro but you have my word i'll catch the comments that i missed next week and the week after that and so on dot 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 number two wanted to highlight a friend of the show movie fact specializes in sharing fun facts about movies and i made a special request for a tv show this week and they answered the call for those that grew up on the show the a-team even for the ones that didn't click on the link to find out something new or see something that you forgot or remembered about the a-team time in theme music be like <gasps> Best elevator music I've ever heard.